All right, in today's video, I got you top 10 best going out niche fragrances for this spring, so stay tuned. What is going on guys and welcome again to another video. I have 10 great fragrances here behind me for going out this spring. This is the niche edition. If you want the designer edition, comment in the section down below and I'll do that video for you. But in today's video, I got you niche going out for spring, okay? And on my number 10, I got Santal 33. What a beautiful scent that is, guys. I love this scent. It's very popular, especially here in LA. If you go out and people smell this fragrance of you, they'll know exactly what you're wearing or it could be a dupe okay because there's a lot of dupes coming up this one but the main thing is people know this one with Lulabo okay so associates the scent profile to Lulabo. Lulabo automatically it's expensive people when they know that you are wearing a very expensive fragrance not something that regular joe's people would just gravitate towards to be able to rock this juice you're just gonna have to have some sort of artistic flair to it okay you're just gonna have some artistic personality or you're just gonna be somewhat artistic okay if you're into your aqua digios that's not gonna be for you either but if you wear this one going out at night trust me would get your attention number nine on my list i probably the only person that ever reviewed this fragrance probably like 10 years ago okay i've been having this bottle for the longest time cosmic oud by uh what marc de la marondière this is like a Belge brand from Belgium. So if you are in Belgium, you can get this one easily from their boutique or like in Europe, but it's really hard to come by here in the US. Okay, you have to purchase from Europe. Dude, but the smell itself, it is so warm, so cozy, so like pencil sharpening or like cedar wood type of thing. This one is like Santal 33. It's got some swag into it, especially when this one dries down. It's got like a little bit of sweetness. Oh my God. This one right here is a compliment magnet for a cool, a little bit windy nights. These are the times when I wore this fragrance when it shines the most and it got me a lot of attention. That's why I always associate this fragrance with good times, okay? Uh, Cosmic Oud by Marc de la Mar Mor Morandier. How do you pronounce his name, dude? Morandier, I'm just gonna leave links. Marc de la Morandier. Yeah, that's the name. Another fantastic, mass appealing fragrance that would get you a lot of attention this spring nights if you were going out is uh, Limon Cité by Louis Vuitton. This is uh, my um, decan that I need to upgrade into a bottle. And I just love this juice, guys, okay? This is a fantastic juice. If you're into sauvage smelling type of fragrances, but you just want something niche smelling, get this one. This is all I am going to say. And the rest is on you, buddy. Yeah. Another fantastic one to wear this spring night. And I'm talking about this gold bottle that I have, which is Soleil de Jeddah by 777 Stefan Humbert Lucas. What a beautiful, gorgeous fragrance that is, guys. It's got way too many things combined. It's got the floral coming from the carnation and I forget something else as well. It's got the leather. It's big on the leather. So I, I hate carnation and fragrances. Okay. But the carnation note in this fragrance works perfectly. It reminds me a little bit from these top notes of Wiley Lexer, okay? Because just that carnation, this old schoolish uh, Fougere type of thing. This one also has it a little bit because of the carnation, but this one is totally taking a different route, okay? This one is more leathery, more sweet, and it's in your face and it gets compliments. This one gets compliments, dude, okay? If you just want attention, get Soleil de Jedda by Steph 777 Stefan Humbert Lucas. Get this one. Another great floral rosy scent for this spring night. It's a base mode, okay? So it's gonna have to be a little easy with the sprays just because of how strong this fragrance is and I'm talking to you about Oud Silk Mood by MFK. I love this scent guys, okay? This is like rose oud with papyrus and the papyrus what makes this fragrance different, okay, than any other rose oud out there. The papyrus note here is huge. It gives out this airy, earthy, green vibe that is to die for, honestly. Papyrus, it's a great note in fragrances, guys. Oh my God. I love the papyrus note here, it's, it's, it's fantastic. It is fantastic, you need to try this one out just because of the papyrus note. And did I say this is one of the most regal rose oud combos like ever and it will get you attention? Yes, this one will, this one will get your attention. 
Let's get another rosewood combo out of the equation in this top 10 just because I love this one. This is a must if you haven't tried this one out yet. If you don't like rosewood combos and fragrances, you gotta just give this one a try. This one is not overly too, too rosy, unlike uh, MFK, uh, the one that I just showed you. I totally forgot the name. Anyway, this one, Criminal of Love by Killian. It's the best, the best rose oud combos for people that not into rose or oud a lot, okay? This one is fantastic. It's got a lot of tobacco combined with the rose and oud as well but it doesn't come across very oody nor rosy. It's just the perfect combination, okay? And this one, oh my God. This one, I just like, I go anywhere. Tellers, I go to CVS, just get my meds or whatever. I just go anywhere. I get compliments wearing this one right here. This one got me a lot of compliments back in the day. Criminal of Love by Killian was once was a Russian exclusive. I think you can just get it anywhere now. Get it while you can, or just at least try it out while you can. Let's just get Tiger by Bulgari out of the way, just because it smells kind of like Limon Cité by Louis Vuitton, but it, on crack, okay? This one is much stronger, much screechier. So it's get, it gives out this screechy vibe just because of the Ambroxan. Ambroxan here is way too big, but at the same time, the Ambroxan that is just way too big, it would get you more compliments, okay? So it could be screechy for you if you smell it close by of your skin, but people from distance, they would smell it of you fantastically, okay? Fantastic scent. If you just wanna get attention, get Tiger. Okay? Another fantastic sweet gourmands coming from the house of Baikillian. That's the second Baikillian I have on this list just because I love Baikillian. Baikillian nails their going out scents at night. They're just perfect, okay? And the next one I have here, it's Love by Killian, Don't Be Shy. Love, Don't Be Shy by Killian. What a beautiful scent that is, guys. This is like marshmallow in a bottle, okay? It just smells so good. It's like, it's like a fluffy cotton candy marshmallow type of thing. This is how this one smells like. If you get caught having this one on and people smell this one of your skin, you're automatically an F-boy, period. That is the impression this one gives. That's how I feel, honestly, every time I have this fragrance on. I haven't worn it in the longest time. I should. This one is fantastic. Love, Don't Be Shy by Killian. This is also the vintage, not the current formulation, okay? Look how dark that juice is. It's the darkest you can ever find. Love, Don't Be Shy by Killian. Beast mode as well. Number two on this list is a much fresher Aventus on steroid. I'm, I'm telling you, on steroid. This one is much stronger than Aventus when it comes to the performance and the, uh, the, the especially the projection, okay? And I'm talking about Hajiv, Hachivat by Nishane. Beautiful scent that is, guys. This one would definitely get your attention. I, I guarantee it would definitely get your attention. If you just wanted something aventus like and you don't wanna buy a Ventus, I highly encourage you. If you don't wanna buy a Ventus, next on the list comes this one right here. Just don't buy anything else. Invest on a bottle of this one. It's not that expensive either. And get yourself a Hachivat by Nishane. That's my advice to you. If you don't wanna spend the money on a Ventus and you just wanna get something a Ventus like. Last but not least, number one fragrance that I love to wear spring nights, and I'm talking about Accento by uh, Zerjav. So this is Suspero. It's effing amazing. It's a lot of patchouli, okay? But the patchouli here is the clean patchouli. It's not earthy. It doesn't smell skanky. It doesn't smell weird. Okay? It just smells clean, musky patchouli with added a lot of pineapple. I didn't check all the notes, but that's what I get out of it, okay? It's like basically patchouli and pineapple. The sillage on this one is insane, okay? Insane. I remember going out wearing this one at night and my friends where we were at, uh, I'm like right here, they can smell me across the room. I was like, dude, I just can't get off the cologne you have on of my nose. It's just, I can smell you from all the way over there. It gets a lot of compliments, but the negative feedbacks that I got from my friends that it is just way too strong that they just can't get it off their nose, okay? Even across the room.
I overspray too when I go out. So that's probably what it is as well. So this is it guys. This is my top 10 going out niche fragrances when it comes to this spring. So let me know in the comment section down below. If you want to go out this spring, what are you going to be wearing down there? I just want to know because maybe I will imitate you or I'm just going to have to buy or try out whatever you're wearing down there because I, I need new options. Okay, so give me new options. Like, share and do all the good stuff and see you guys next time. Peace.